Skull and welcome back to Valkyrie's Art Corner. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications of my new videos. Um, today we are going to be working on one of my favorite characters from the television series South Park, the superhero character named Mysterion. He is also a card playable in the game, uh, the mobile game South Park Phone Destroyer, which I play avidly. So a little bit about Mysterion, he is a superhero and his ability is to not die, uh, but his regular kid identity is Kenny. And we all know what happens to Kenny. He ends up uh, dying a whole lot and ends up coming back, but not a lot of people know why he did that. So in the episode of one of my favorite episodes, Mysterion Rises, you come to find out that um, his family, his mom and dad were involved in a cult for uh, Cthulhu, and if you don't know what Cthulhu looks like, if you've ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean with J Davy Jones, it's pretty much his head right there, but like in a giant like bat creature looking thing. And come to find out that his parents were involved in a ritual to pretty much make it immortal, and that is where Kenny comes in. So every time Kenny dies, and spoiler alert if you've never seen South Park and wanted to see it, but every time Kenny dies, He's reborn again in his room, and his friends have no freaking clue that he has this ability. It's almost like their memories get erased. But um, in the episode Rise of Mysterion, he finds this out, and um, the goth kids end up stabbing him, and he ends up being reborn, and his friends come running over to his house asking, you know, why did you run off? Why did you run off? Having no memory of him being stabbed, so... So this is what this picture is going to be based off of since Mysterion was born out of the Cult of Cthulhu. So I'm just coloring in the background like a darker purple to give it a more somber tone because the majority of Mysterion's outfit is a variation of purple. So um, you'll just cover the entire background so just keep painting that until the entire canvas is full. And then I just add in a little bit of black here. You just want a variation in color. You don't want to have like a monotone color. So you want to have kind of like a little bit of splashes here and there of different colors. So also to help your paint go a little bit longer, uh, dip the tip of your brush into some water and it'll actually uh, stretch out your paint colors a little bit more. So that way it, you'll have a more of a full coverage on your canvas. Um, it'll take a little bit longer to dry, but you've saved yourself uh, a little bit on your paint. And paint can sometimes get really expensive. Trust me, I know. <laughs> and then I did not like how light this edge over here was, so I'm gonna add in more purple. Yeah, and then just kinda blend that in. I think that'll be the more purple corner of the, the painting, but that's okay. All right, now that that's done, um, I took a blow dryer to it to dry it very quickly. It took literally two minutes to dry it. So now we're gonna jump over to here where we're actually drawing the outline of Cthulhu. We're not gonna go into like absolute detail because this is what's called a silhouette. So you only get to see the outline of them. So um, that's what we're gonna do there. And since it's a silhouette, you can choose pretty much any color to make him solid, to make him more backgroundy but um, I'm choosing black since we've already got purple and black and purple will look really, really, really good together. And you'll pretty much just, everywhere you've outlined, just put black and then um, just color them in full like that. And just keep going. Now, I ha unfortunately, I haven't done any, hardly any research into Cthulhu, but I know there's a whole shababble if you want to look them up yourself. But um, in the episode Mysterio Mysterion Rises, Cartman, whose superhero name, actually he's more of an evil villain, even though he thinks himself a superhero, 
um, befriends the crazy Cthulhu in the attempt to destroy Mysterion. And Cthulhu is the only one that can actually kill Kenny or Mysterion. So, and I'm going to put some black splatter back here to kind of give it a cool effect so that way it's not totally empty back there. And then where the paint didn't make a straight line or anything like that so I can like sharpen up the edges, I just took a marker and just uh, outlined everything. Which marker comes in handy in a lot of the videos that I've done. And then we're going to draw an eye. This is going to be the only color that Cthulhu has on him. I'm going to do a combination of yellow, orange, and red to make it the only color that pops. So that way it gives it more of a directional, like you want, you want your eye to draw to that first. And then I had to layer this in a couple times because unfortunately with orange and yellow, they're a little bit transparent. So you're going to have to to layer them. So there was a couple times where I actually combined the yellow and with the orange to make it thicker and then some red into the orange to make it a little bit more reddish. And then I took some yellow to kind of give Cthulhu's eyes a glow around it. And that was kind of a last minute decision because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it just yet. And then right here I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put Mysterion. So I figured he was a little bit too low here. So I'm just plotting in uh, a little bit darker version of the purple. And then uh, putting Mysterion in where this blot is. A lot of his clothing is a little bit dark, so to make it stand out from Cthulhu's face, um, I added that purple background to it. So again, that was still kind of undecided. Um, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do with the picture, but uh, most of this right here is kind of on a whim. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of going with it at this point. So what you want to do is have like a gray toned face and uh, kind of put some black in around where the shadowing of his hood would be on his face. And then you'll want to take some just the darkest purple you can find and start uh, painting in his cloak and I added a little bit more lighter purple around it because I didn't make the, the shadowing big enough so you can always correct that go back in and get the dark, dark purple around it so that way you can get his cloak color in and right now he's going to be your, doing your standard superhero pose um, I feel like Mysterion's very much modeled after the way Batman is because he's so dark and mysterious and just disappears into the night. And that's partly why I do like Mysterion because I'm a fan of Batman, not so much of Superman. Superman's cool and all, but Batman, the story behind him and everything like that is just a lot more interesting than Superman's because Superman's is kind of played out a little. I mean, Batman's is too, but eh, I never get tired of Batman. So right now we're coloring in his gloves and then we're putting brown into his shoes. Now the gloves, I did a combination of yellow, green, and white and added a little bit of black to kind of match the color of what his actual gloves are. And then I'm putting in white because he wears his underwear over his leotard. <laughs> That's uh, kind of almost um, reminiscence of Doug Funny. Uh, from uh, the TV show Doug back in like the early 90s. Um, you probably can find some clips of it on YouTube when he does his Quail Man impersonation, but um, yeah, I think that's kind of where he got his inspiration on that too. So now we're just going to um, add his little question mark up there because Mysterion decided to make his his thing a little question mark. Thus, I think this is also a play on the whole Batman Joker or Batman Riddler kind of thing. So they kind of took a combination of both and added it into Mysterion. And then just take your marker and outline him because he is a cartoon. 
So he has those big solid black lines on the outside. And then just do that until he's completely highlighted in. And I'm going to go ahead and sign my painting. But I didn't like how his eye, excuse me, his eye turned out. So I'm just going back and touching up a little bit. I wasn't going to do anything with the outside. That's why I already signed it. Um, and then adding more shadowing around his eye. But that would be it. And here is the final picture. You can find me on Discord, Valkyrie's Art Corner. And just remember to like, comment, 